Hey guys, Mike from CoachMikeMcDonald.com here. And are you looking for a way how to get started in network marketing and get results fast? Well, today's video, I'm gonna cover the five network marketing basics you need to know to succeed fast, so stay tuned. Now, a lot of people get started in network marketing and they do it part-time. They're building it around working a full-time job, maybe being a stay-at-home mom. And so today's video, I'm gonna walk through some different basics of network marketing so you can get better results faster in your business. Now, for me, I've been doing business in network marketing, direct sales for well over 13 years. And one thing that I found is that people need to get through a learning curve, right? Where a lot of people get started in network marketing and they see the income that's possible, right? And they have visions of their mind of making, you know, 10 grand a month, six figures a year, and that's awesome. But where people struggle is that they have the idea that this is gonna happen overnight. And that's really not the case, that you're gonna need to get through a learning curve in your business. And that's really the first tip to understand is that it's not overnight success. Success, right you have to work on yourself you have to develop the skill sets what's cool is that this is a skill based business that anyone can learn in my opinion where you can go out there you can master the skills of inviting presenting prospecting closing promoting for training right so there's really key foundation skill sets that you need to be successful in network marketing it just takes time to learn them right and so as you're building your business just understand that don't be looking for instant gratification that you're going to get rich overnight or anything like that just understand that it takes time to build a successful business it takes time to get results and that you're going to have to go through that learning curve and if you expect that coming in it's awesome, right? You're not gonna beat yourself up. You're not gonna be frustrated if results don't come overnight. Just look at it kind of like you're going back to school, right? If you wanted to get a degree in engineering or a degree in business or whatever the case might be, right? You go to college for four years to get that degree and then you can start really applying that skill set. And what's cool is with network marketing, you can be earning income while you're learning and developing that skill set because what happens is that that there's a team in place, right? There's already people that have laid out that path to success and they're actually here to help you, right? So you have a sponsor, you have an upline, you have an organization, a team that's gonna help you get success. So what's cool is just follow their guidance, right? So that will help you get through your learning curve faster and just understand it's not maybe like a traditional you know, degree or a traditional uh, learning situation, right? Where you have to wait years before you can actually apply what you're learning and start earning an income in that field what's cool with network marketing is that as you're building that skill set you can be taking action and bringing in income and results right along the way so that's again the first tip of network marketing basics you need to know is that you're gonna have to go through a learning curve to get success the second step the second tip I have for you is that your business is only gonna grow to the point that you do right I know for me I struggled for a long time in the industry because I wasn't really working on myself I wasn't developing Developing my skill sets, right? It was just kind of all coming through trial and error, right? That's not really the most fun way to learn uh, because again, you're going out there, you're failing over and over and over again until you figure out what actually works. And so one thing that I wish I knew in the beginning is that my business only grew to the point that I did, right? So people are looking to work with leaders. People are looking to work with people that know what's going on, right? And so the sooner you can start developing that skill set, the better, right? So you want to be working on yourself, becoming the leader you need to be to build an organization, to grow a team, to inspire people, to motivate them, help them get success in their business. And that just takes time to develop as well. Now, a common mistake I find that network marketers make or people in the home business industry make though, is that they kind of swing the pendulum, right? Where all they do is personal development, all they do is read books, all they do is attend trainings and meetings, but they never actually take any action that gets results in their business. So you can't do that, right? You still need to work on yourself, obviously. You know, focus on yourself, building yourself up, improving your skill set, but do that alongside of taking action. So that's really the second tip, is that your business is only gonna grow to the point that you do, so you need to continue to work on yourself, your mindset, your skill set, along with taking action. Now, the third step kind of ties into that is that you need to have a daily method of operation and commit to your success, right? Where again, a lot of people come into network marketing and they're used to kind of working a job, right? So 
nothing wrong with that, right? Work your job to pay your bills, build your business to build your future. But what happens is that they don't really have an actual set daily method of operation where people might work their business part time and that's awesome. You know, you can get success building your business part time, but they don't actually have a set daily method of operation. They don't really have a set layout of activities that they should be doing. So a lot of times they get caught up in busy work or things that don't actually lead to results, right? So maybe you've made your list of people that you wanna to talk to, but instead of actually picking up the phone and calling those people or sending them a message or inviting them to check out your business, uh, you're alphabetizing your list and then you're color coordinating who you think will get started, right? And then you're figuring out times in your calendar when maybe could be a good time to show them, but you don't know. and right so you're doing all this activity so don't confuse activity with results because again there's certain income producing activities that you need to be doing every day or again when you're committing time to your business to get results so that's inviting presenting closing training and then promoting events and you kind of just lather rinse repeat that right you just do that over and over again and you teach your team how to do that as well so again Focus on having that daily method of operation and then commit to your success, right? You can't expect to get massive results without putting any time into it, right? Again, a lot of people have the lottery ticket mentality. They're just gonna get started, invite a couple people, and then magically they're gonna skyrocket to the top and be earning millions of dollars. That would be awesome if that was cool, but again, it takes time, it takes discipline to get those results. And so that's what you need to commit to in your business. So the fourth step that you wanna do is don't be addicted to the outcome of every single presentation, right? That's one thing that I find a lot of people struggle with is that they get a couple no's and it takes them out of the business, right? They quit, they get their feelings hurt, and then they stop building their business, right? And so no's are just really an integral part of building a successful business, right? Not everybody gets started, not everyone's gonna buy your product, not everybody's actually even open to your business or product, and that's fine, but don't get addicted to the outcome. That's where I find a lot of people struggle or hit stumbling blocks is that, again, they get a couple no's, they get their feelings hurt, and then they walk away from the business, where again, you just have to understand that not everybody's a good fit. Just really look at it like you're a waiter or a waitress asking somebody if they want dessert. If, you know, at the end of your meal every time right they pretty much they they ask you you know do you save room for dessert and you want to get something to, to for dessert do you want coffee you want some dessert going on right and so that's normal but does everybody buy dessert no most people are full they didn't save room and that's okay and it's the same idea with your business where you can't be addicted to the outcome of every presentation otherwise you know you're going to beat yourself up you're gonna struggle, you're gonna be frustrated, and you're probably gonna quit. So again, just understand that not everyone's gonna say yes. The no's lead to yeses, and that's just a part of the business. So don't worry about it, don't beat yourself out about it, and just focus on going through those numbers and talking to enough people, because when you do that, the numbers just work themselves out. Now the fifth tip that I have for you uh, for network marketing basics is basically the idea that you don't wanna reinvent the wheel and just follow the system that's already in place that works, right? You know, one thing that I find a lot of people struggle in the business because there is a set system that does work, you know, an effective way to invite people to take a look at the business, an effective way to build your business on social media, an effective way to generate leads, an effective way to prospect, to share your presentation, right? So there's a, a defined system that's worked People have gone out and already created success in that business and you can match and model, right? Find someone that has what you want, do what they do long enough and you can get those results. So it's the same concept in your business, but what happens is a lot of people get started in network marketing. They see the invites and they're like, well, I don't talk to my friends like that or my friends are different or they prejudge their contacts and be like, oh, well, they're not gonna be into this so I'm not even gonna invite them, right? So they have these preconceived ideas of what works and what doesn't and they think that their situation is magically unique. 
Trust me, it's not, right? You know, your friends are no different than my friends and are no different than a stranger that I would meet out and about and is no different than the person that you meet out and about, right? There's a process, there's a system in place and where a lot of people struggle and don't get the results they want is because they try and reinvent the wheel. Instead of following a system that actually works, they try and make up their own and they wonder why they're not successful. Well, that's why, right? There's a right and a wrong way to invite someone. There's a right and a wrong way to present. There's a right and a wrong way to close, right? There's a right and a wrong way to train your team. And so there's a system in place and that's a little bit different for every single company and that's fine, but there's still overall general principles that don't really change at all with network marketing. So again, that foundation of prospecting, inviting, presenting, closing, training, and promoting events, that's kind of the, the circle, right, that you plug people into. And that doesn't really matter what company you're in, what business you're promoting, that works every time. So again, focus on those foundations, the basics of network marketing, and just do it over and over again. So don't try and reinvent the wheel. Don't try and come up with some crazy invites that don't really work. You know, spamming your link doesn't work on social media, right? So again, there's a right and a wrong way to build your business. So plug into your upline, plug into your company training, plug into the events, work on yourself, get better, and follow those foundation steps with that daily activity and that creates results in your business. So again, that's the fifth thing, uh, the fifth tip that I guess you maybe wanna avoid when you're building your network marketing business is avoid trying to reinvent the wheel, plug into the system that's already proven to work and stay consistent with it and you can get results as well. So again, guys, hopefully you got some benefit and value out of this video. If you did, feel free to comment and share. Drop a like if you got some value from this as well. And then also, if you haven't done so yet, definitely subscribe to our channel here to get more tips and training to help you grow your business and build a successful business from home. And then also, maybe you are struggling, right? If you're just getting started or maybe you've been around for a while, you can start over anytime you want, which is cool. Or maybe you're just looking to scale your business more effectively on social media. Well, if that's the case, I put together a free lead generation boot camp where I walk you through some simple strategies of how you can start generating targeted leads for your business through social media. So if you'd like to join that, it's free. There's a link below this video. So go ahead down there and click that link to sign up for this upcoming lead generation boot camp. Or again, you can head to coachmikemcdonald.com forward slash five day coaching. Again, that's coachmikemcdonald.com forward slash five day coaching. So again, you can plug into that free lead generation bootcamp there or click on the link below this video as well to join there as well. But again, guys, thanks so much for tuning in and we'll talk to you more soon.